My name is Xavier Montalban. I am the chair of the Department of Neurology at the University Hospital by the Brown in Barcelona and the director of the MS Center of Catalonia, what we call FEMCAT. The Clinical Trials Committee is a committee supported by the U.S. National MS Society and the ACTRIMS organization. In my opinion, it's one of the most influential committees all over the world. We started in 2001 with the first McDonald revision of the MS criteria, diagnostic criteria. And then we reviewed them in 2005, 10, and 17, and recently in 2023 in Barcelona as well. There is a session dedicated to uh, DMS diagnostic criteria in the next uh, ECTRIMS meeting. It will be the first time that this criteria will be presented officially to the international community. The new diagnostic criteria will challenge a number of concepts. Uh, for instance, the need of uh, clinical symptoms to be diagnosed of multiple sclerosis, the need of uh, dissemination in time, we are challenging as well the dissemination in space concept, the way we look at it. We will be incorporating the optic nerve into the uh, typical topographies, and we will be also incorporating biomarkers apart from uh, oligoconal bands in the diagnostic algorithm. The new diagnostic criteria will increase the sensitivity for sure, and a number of patients will be diagnosed of multiple sclerosis. We will increase sensitivity without decreasing a specificity because we're always worried about the misdiagnosis of multiple sclerosis. And that means that it will be uh, easier to use in a number of countries in which the access to the MRI is not easy because they will be able to use other tools such as OCT or visual bulk potentials. I would like to highlight that the diagnostic criteria are not treatment criteria. It's completely different things, but of course, there is a link between the diagnosis and the treatment of a specific patient. For patients, the, the application of this diagnostic criteria will facilitate an earlier diagnosis, an earlier treatment, and as you know, a better prognosis in, in the long term. And I think it will be easy for neurologists easy for patients with practical consequences. In my opinion, one of the most important uh, changes in the new diagnostic criteria will be that some patients with no clinical symptoms suggestive of multiple sclerosis, but fulfilling a number of MRI criteria and other criteria as well, will be classified as multiple sclerosis. That, that, that's very new. Another important aspect is that we will be incorporating the optic nerve as the fifth typical topography, and I think this is very relevant as well.